it is very real. <laughs> it is coming very quickly. Um, right now, about the attrition rate with the major airlines, they're needing about 20,000 pilots in the next five years. The regionals total are about 18,000. So the numbers don't quite add up and there's not a lot of people to pick from anymore to hire onto the regional side. So the pool is getting very shallow. Um, it is very real, it is happening very, very quick. Much quicker, I think, than a lot of people have anticipated. So it's kind of becoming now a mad rush to get as many pilots as possible that are qualified um, in good standing. So it's, it's getting tough out there, it really is. I've been flying commercially for five years. I would say it's real. Been on the industry for four years. Uh, this is my second regional. And uh, just by seeing all the advertisement coming from different companies with bonuses left and right, that tells me that uh, something is not attracting uh, pilots to come in. And uh, within my uh, own company, I mean, the way I sit, it's just looking at the schedule. And uh, when you see the numbers of reserve, like uh, constantly be kind of red, meaning that if someone call out for the job or get sick, it's no replacement. So that, that, that really tells me that uh, it's a shortage somewhere. Well, my opinion, the pilot shortage, I definitely think is real. I see it every day. You know, as many of the other regional airlines, we are struggling in, in to get the, find the qualified pilots that will, that will fly for us. So it's def there's definitely a shortage. I have talked to, to many, many pilots that are on the majors and, and the legacy carriers, are they, and they see the, the shortage and they have the same difficulty that we, the small regionals, have finding pilots that could fly for us. Overseas right now, um, they are also lacking pilots because everyone is buying a ton of aircraft and um, you you can work overseas. You know, I want that's why I came back and want all our classmates to know that right now they're looking for expat pilots too. Um, my company last year started a class every month, which is just insane for a major. They usually do like a couple a year, so it's a good time. It's a good time to be a pilot. My opinion on pilot shortage is, is definitely it, it's real. Um, we feel it at my level, at the regional level, probably a lot more than the majors feel it, but when, you, when companies are offering huge bonuses, changing the contracts, giving in to certain concessions for the pilots, it's, it's supply and demand. It's, it's definitely real, and you can see it especially at the career fairs like the one we had today. I firmly believe that the pilot shortage is real. When I went to apply to the regionals, I uh, put in the application for the airline that was my number one choice. And that afternoon I got a phone call from a recruiter and I was offered a class date for two weeks from that date. And to not have any sort of interview, no screening or anything, just to have my name be put on a list, showed that the company was extremely desperate for pilots. I do feel that the pilot shortage is real. Um, I think you've seen signs of it from uh, you know, the changing demographics as far as uh, requirements to even get a job. Um, there's, they've been steadily uh, uh, looking for more people, aggressively approaching people uh, for the opportunities to get a job with particular regional airlines. Um, and the major carriers are seeing a lot of uh, transition as far as folks coming through and a lot of hiring. My company has been impacted by the pilot shortage. Uh, just from the fact that uh, we're implementing um, more creative ways to attract pilots to our company. Um, of course, we've seen a lot of applicants come through. Um, and so I, th I think we're starting to really get into the throes of um, seeing a lot of our older pilots retire and transitioning in new pilots um, on a monthly basis. Yes, I mean, I think we'll get to a point where there just aren't enough qualified pilots to fly uh, flights um, that we have scheduled or even propose. Companies that want to expand can't expand because there just aren't enough pilots available. Um, we don't want to leave this into a situation where it's only for a privileged few. And so we have to um, really encourage, find a way to uh, make it financially feasible for those that are hungry and desirable to uh, realize their dreams. 
each and every pilot needs to understand that one day you're going to retire and <laughs> you need somebody that's going to follow in your footsteps, if you will, uh, and replace you in that seat. So we've got to do, we've all got to do our part in encouraging the next generation and considering jobs in uh, aviation and aerospace.